Hey y'all, at the O'Reilly's Auto Parts uh, World of Wheels Birmingham 2013. And uh, my buddy Doug uh, shot an AMX of his and uh, he turned me on to two other people that have javelins that are uh, police cars. 70, early 70 javelin police cars. I've never seen one. But uh, anyways, let me run a boy down at Owens and I'll have him tell us about it. Vince, how are you, brother? Hey, Scotty, what's going on, bud? How much, man? Tell me about these. Oh, man. That's crazy, isn't it? Two cop cars? Yeah, and it's really hard to come up with because there was only 133 of them all total. What states used them? Alabama? Alabama. That was it. Alabama was the first state ever to use a muscle car for a high-speed pursuit car. Right. We set the trend. Right. So when Florida did it with the Mustang 5.0, they were on the Later in the 80s. That's right. They were And the tro our Alabama troopers had the Mustangs also. Right. So, in which case, everybody else tried to copy. You know, California had the Camaro. Right. Texas also used the Camaro. Right. And, uh... Yeah, but these, were these the first ones, or did they use another muscle car? No, actually, uh, these were the first pony car ever to use. Now, they did use the Dodges. You know, they used some of the old Cornettes. Right. They used some of the Polaris. Uh, but yeah, these were, they needed something to keep up with the Chevelles oh, yeah. and all the muscle car era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this I understand. Well, what years, are they 70s? 72 models. 72. Now, they purchased the Javelin. AMC was kind of in a financial bind. Right. In fact, I got a video that will go with it to explain that. Uh, AMC was having problems. State troopers were looking for something with some muscle. The uh, one of the dealerships sent over an AMC javelin for them to try out. It was a little underpowered. It was a 304. Right. They sent it back and they sent them one of the 401 AMXs, and they loved it. Yeah, that they worked. Oh, that did the ticket. <laughs> so they sat down and they designed what they wanted on it. Uh, when they came in, they wound up, all the 71 models were this color. Silver. The silver. The start, right. uh, that was a uh, quick silver metallic. And in 70, this is number 7 of 12 that came in to finish filling that 71 order. Okay. That's the reason why it got painted that. Now, out of the 12, only two others exist. Wow. So this is, makes number three. Three. The second order that they placed, this is what AMC went to. It was called a Stardust Silver Metallic. Right. And they said, well, you know, we need something to go more. So they went ahead and painted the hoods and the trunk decks Admiral Blue Metallic. And uh, this is what these... Now, the state still has two of these. Uh, one resides at their museum, and the other is right now being housed at Kim Welburn's museum. And, uh, Does it still have all the radio and all that stuff in it? This one still has all the live radio in it. Uh, still picks up the live transmission. Wow. Uh, in fact, they were just talking on it just a little bit. You can still hear the troopers talking. They never change the frequency. No kidding. Uh, that one's got the same radio in it. We're still waiting on the crystal to come in for it. But, uh, and they're automatic cars. Automatic. Didn't have any real options on them. Pretty no, much stripped down. Pretty much stripped down. They, they wanted the 401. Now the Javelin, the SST, wouldn't have come with a rear spoiler. AMX was the only thing that came with those. Right. State Trooper said they had to have it. And so they could post it logo on the back side of it. Right. You had to see the logo. Right. So normally it would carry a AMX badging on the rear spoiler. So we walk around here. They instead of where it would normally say AMX, they had that replaced with the 401 emblem. Huh. But they had to have this rear spoiler so they have So the cops were even bragging about their horsepower back then, weren't oh, they? They were just a bunch of kids like us, man. They were. They yeah. uh, in fact, uh, some of the folks I've talked to, they would, the troopers would actually get involved with some of the drag racing right. on the side. Right, you know? right. And uh, they used to tell you, if you could outrun me, I won't write you a ticket. Right. So. How long have you had these cars? I've had this one now for about five years. Uh, this one I acquired last year. 
it was in really rough shape. Is that door open? Yeah, this door open, sure. Uh, you can have it, would you? Huh. Yeah, something else. I guess where they put handcuffs on you and sit you in the front seat or they stuff you in that back seat. Well, that's where they were kind of weren't cost efficient. Right. They you would chase you down else. and they would have to call for a secondary unit. Right. Now, at one point in time, one trooper did stuff his prisoner in the trunk. Okay. So, that's a good place to put them. But now, the great thing on these is this wasn't was only an option for AMX also. They had to have the 140 speed up with the tic tac cluster. Right. Which is your tack and clock all in one. Right. So they did that just for the cop cars? Well, for the SST. SST. Special order for them. I gotcha. What about, can we see the motor in them? Sure. Uh, we'll Which one? Yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be the same motors? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, they weren't candy blue like that, were they? That is actually a turquoise blue, yes. No kidding. That was That's pretty, car. man. Uh, everybody thinks that, you know, Chrysler or Ford had it because they had a 390 or a 360. <laughs> yeah, but even their blue wasn't as pretty as that blue. Right. That's a good this looking blue. A, uh, AMC made their own engines. And, uh, that was their color. Is that the siren? That's the siren. They use the old manual siren. What? How much horsepower was one of these putting out? Ah, uh, it seems like it was around 255 net at the rear wheel. Right. Huh. Man, it's clean. You did you redo these yourself? This one? Well, I've done both of them myself. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just about can't afford to take them anywhere no more. To no, get done, yeah, you know? no. Nobody can find parts for them. So. Right. It's got to be a labor of love. Have you always been an AMX or American Motors fan? Oh, yeah. I yeah. had a javelin when my first son, when my son was born. So, oh, okay. You know, I've had an accident one. That, in fact, it was the same car. I hit a telephone pole doing about 70. It took the whole front end, the rear, the wheel, and everything, and just shoved it right through the floorboard. It was laying in the passenger seat. Wow. I wasn't buckled in, but it's like the car just wrapped itself around you. Right. And I never moved from my steering wheel. Huh. I never felt the impact. No kidding. This car was just... Ahead of its after time. After that. Yeah. After that, you know, I'm just sold on these things. I'm with you. Cool. Where'd you get the decals? You had them made? Uh, yeah, I got them through the same supplier at the state of Alabama. So they're authentic and yeah. official. Uh, everything I've done, I went through the state on restoring them. I approached them first, told them okay. what I had and what I wanted to do. Right. Uh, they gave me a written letter of authorization. Oh, wow. So So you could go out and have that stuff made and show it, yeah. Yeah, I go back to the same supplier when I need something. Now, did they have? Did they come with those rally wheels on them? Yeah. Do you sure and all? did. No kidding. Now, the 71s would have came with the machine wheel. Right. Which is similar. It's just a five slot. I got you. But, uh... Yeah, that was part of their package. Wow. Vince, I tell you, that's cool, brother. Yeah. I knew they were going to be here. I had never seen one, but now I got to tell you, that's cool. That old bubble flasher on top of it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they work. You know, we'll hit the swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Look at that, would you? That is a sight nobody wants to see. Huh. Usually, if you see two of them in your rearview mirror, yeah. you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, I found out that when they start lining up behind each other, when they keep coming, that's there's a real problem. Not a good that's sign. not a good sign, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I tried to tell them they got me mistaken for somebody else, but that don't usually get me anywhere. Wow. This is, this is really, for these cars, like I said, AMC has never been as popular right. as, say, like the GTOs. Sure, the sure. So they can't keep up with the, 
I guess, is the fan base. Right. So, yeah, in order to want one, yeah. there's got to be something wrong with you. Right. Or... I don't know. Oh, I think they're cool. I think the up. AMX is cool, and I think the Javelin's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think they're both really cool cars. You don't see many of them, but I think they're cool cars. No. I, I must say, now, I've gotten to meet several troopers right. the, since I've started these projects. and got to be friends with many of them. And uh, hopefully one day that these will sit down in their museum. Wow. That'd be cool of you to do. Yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't want to do that. Well, like I said, they got one. The other said being housed at Wellburn. But it would, uh... You just never know what you'll find, boy. What people are going to like. Because this was no, like I said, this was a time-consuming, expensive build. Right. Because you just did, there isn't a plethora of parts out there for these things. Like you said, it's hard to find. Exactly. And anything that's hard to find is expensive. We had to find a donor car, and, uh, like this one here. We've had to replace, the whole front clip has been replaced. This whole side right here has been cut. All of that section has been replaced. All of the corners in this whole section here has been all cut out on both sides and replaced. Hmm. The uh, drip track for the trunk was all cut out. We had to cut a section of the trunk out to replace it. We actually had to, I thought I had the trunk undone, or I'd show that. Uh, we actually had to, this thing has been involved in a rollover, apparently, in the time. Because once we got done stripping it down right. and found where the original welds were cut loose and then re-welded again. Right. But it still had a factory-type paint on it, so it would have been done when they owned it. Uh, which is, there's the original radio that they would have had. That's huge, man. Yeah, the other's just a control head. Do they have an emergency shutoff? Uh, that's something that we had to add for an extra battery. Okay. Just to be able to lights. run the lights yeah, yeah, I got at you. shows. Yeah, but you got that trunk put back together, right? I oh, mean, yeah. That's battle paint's beautiful. That looks just like it would have looked. The, yeah, uh, you did nice, man. Like I said, this whole track here was cut out. How long did it take you to do it? It took me a year. Three A year? One year. Really? You worked on it full time? Pretty much. Yeah. I'm retired, so. You know, I got you. You look awfully young to be retired. What'd you yeah, do? I'm 46. I used to own a record company. Ah, there you go. We whacked this whole corner off and had to weld a new claw section in and jack this whole back panel out two and a half inches. Holy smokes. So, I mean, it was, so that car was rough. It was rough. It was rough. What about this one? That one. That one looked like somebody tried to shove it in between two cars in a parking lot. No kidding. All the sides were crushed, the front fender was crushed. But you couldn't just buy, even get this javelin to make cop cars out of them. You wanted actual ones that had been cop cars. Uh, this one I found out by accident. Uh, I thought I was just buying a javelin. Right. And when I got it home, we started stripping all the paint off. We started finding these little ID number tags. And we found out that it was eventually like a unmarked detective type unit. Oh, it no wasn't kidding. a marked unit. Right. So we just went ahead and wanted to mark it. Cool. It was affiliated, but it just wasn't. Uh, the Did it have thing. with a bubble on it? It didn't have the bubble. But it had the holes for it. But it had the holes. Right. Man. Well, brother, I appreciate you taking the time to let me look at these things. Oh, man, not a problem. Like man. I said, I, I enjoyed it. Now, this one, we found the radar unit. Uh, this would be the control head. Holy smokes, that brings back <laughs> memories, don't it? And that's the gun. That's when you hang out the window. Yeah. Yeah. That's the gun. That brings it. back memories, yeah. How many times did you want to drive by with a baseball bat and knock that off the side of the car, right? Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. we would, uh... Have you, you ever get clock anybody with it? It's accurate. Yeah. Is that? It, it works. works. I put it in my truck and plugged it in to check before I installed it. Right. And I checked it against my speedometer against a steel object. Right. And it was reading what my speedometer was, so I knew it was calibrated. Yeah. And we'll set it, uh... At car shows, and I'll hang it from the window, and we'll clock people coming down the highway. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. Right. Man. 
Well, brother, thanks again. I really appreciate hey, it. I, I appreciate it. Man. No, thank you, man. No problem. Folks, there you go. Two Javelin police cars from the uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels, Birmingham, 2013. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.